here we are. It's a beautiful morning. Gonna be fishing with Ed today. He hooked and lost two yesterday, and uh, I lost three the day before that. These little fish are just not staying buttoned. Not exactly sure what it is, but we're springer fishing, baby. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna launch in the sandbar. Hit that subscribe button, the like button. Please share the video out. Appreciate all of you guys. Let's go, let's go get some springers, man. Ed's pulling the strap, tilting the motors up. feet of water just got rigged up just waiting for that fish check it out guys we're sitting on anchor right now the last part of the outgoing as soon as that low slack comes we're gonna be anchored up but we got potatoes we got we got eggs right here okay bacon check it out Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bacon and some onions. So we're gonna be eating like kings right here. Hopefully there's a fish that comes about too. And we got that we got that little hatchery fish in the in the kill bag as well. And and I do mean little. <laughs> Things like seven pounds, huh? But anyway, yep, let's get some bacon going. Get it nice and crispy. It didn't take as long to catch it though. <laughs> no, it didn't take long. Got all the bacon cooked up, crispy in the bottom of here. Got some garlic, salt, pepper for the potatoes. Got butter in the pan already, look at that. Ooh. Hey, we got a springer in the boat, man. We're having breakfast. Yep. You can't go wrong, you know what I mean? No, you can't. Plenty of garlic, look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh, we got some onions to throw on there later. Could you imagine some uh, chopped up Springer, small chunks in that too? Mm. Oh. We could do it if we wanted to, Ooh. we got it. Today's video is just gonna be a, a simple how-to on uh, what we did to catch this Spring Chinook right here. So, it's a it's a small Springer, but nevertheless, it's good table fare for, for a lot of people. So, um, I just wanted to go over the setup real quick and what we did to catch this fish and then go over how I rigged my setup and uh, and so on. So let's start with the main line. We got 50 pound braid here. This is this Cast King Pro braid. Um, I like blue, I just like blue in all my setups. And then we got that going to our uh, Cold Water Strong anti mainline twist because of that split ring. 24 inch bumper on my uh, Short Bus 360 flashers. Always run Short Bus. That's just how I fish. So I got that paired up with the uh, Cold Water Strong Quick Release is the aluminum one, which is a really light wire, which is great because you don't want something super heavy right here like the old design because that's gonna that's gonna hinder the way that your 360 is gonna do its its 360, right? So the lighter the better. You don't want anything to inhibit the action of, of the 360. So and then I got that going to a 30 inch leader to my uh, prawn spinner. So this prawn spin spinner has been the ticket for me lately. Um, this is the red and copper. That's what I got my fish on. And two one knot hooks, the Siwash one knots. And I'm going to show you how to rig this today. And this is how we caught that little springer. <laughs> so, right here we got just coon shrimp. So you have your, your setup here. Yeah. You want to get close? Yeah, I got it. You're going to take this top hook here, not the trailer, you're going to take the top hook. You're gonna go through the back, the top of the tail, it's like the top of the tail, that last little segment there. You're gonna come out by the head up here. So you're connecting the back and the head, right, to make the bait more durable. You're gonna come out right there, just like so. And your hook spacing is gonna be real close. 
So you have that trailer. If a fish hits it and it's short striking it, you got that trailer hook back there. So there's your coon shrimp. Then you're gonna take, let me go around the rod here. Then you're gonna take your line and you're gonna half hitch. You're gonna go over in between those legs. There's your first half hitch. And then what you typically want to do, you can fish it like this, some guys do, but I typically open up the legs like this, and I'll run a half hitch between those other legs right there to kind of straighten the bait out. And if you want to, you can run one more half hitch on the, t on the tail. These are little coon shrimp, so I straighten it out like that. Just a slight little curvature, and what that's going to do is it's going to allow that that coon shrimp to tuck and roll like this when it's in the water, which is good. You want that thing spinning, almost like a herring, but but not so much. You know, herring's going to be a tight roll. This is going to have a tuck and roll. So this setup is just six six millimeter beads and your clevis. And you can put a little metal bearing right here if you want to as well. But that's it. That thing will spin in the water, man. Get it down on the bottom where the where you have these springers. Yep. Yep. And uh, it's gonna be a good it's gonna be a good day, guys. So prawn spinners for days. <coughs> get some chrome fish. And uh, and yeah. So last thing I'm gonna talk about is the rod. This is the Cast King Chrome Series Heavy Drifter. It's the nine foot six. It's a little bit lighter of a rod. It's like a 12, it's a 15 to 30, if I remember right. Actually, it's a 12 to 25. This rod is a 12 to 25, half ounce to two ounce lead. But I troll 12 ounces on this, this rod, perfect. I love the way this rod handles a 12 ounce lead. And I have my bigger Pro Troller, the 10 foot six by Casking, which is this rod right here. That bigger rod is gonna be like your 16 ounces and your 20 ounces, and you can fish buoy 10 and all those other fishers with it. So, anyways. I just wanted to help you guys out a little bit. We got a springer today on a, on a prawn spinner, and we lost a springer. So yep. we went one for two today on prawn spinners, and uh, the ticket was short bus, 360 flashers, cold water strong, quick releases, and anti-mainline twist bumper leaders, and prawn spinners. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little uh, how-to video. Um, I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share the video out, guys. Tight lines.